we're going to start off, okay, with the, uh, the scientists, all right, and that is de Broglie, and he did the dual nature of light, called the duality of light. And then Planck did light as a particle, Schrodinger did light as a wave, and Einstein did the speed of light. And we're going to get to that when we get to our uh, constants later. So basically you need to understand, there's like a Planck party, there's like a Schrodinger party, it's like the Democrats and the Republicans. Planck thought of it as a particle, Schrodinger's like, no, no, man, light's a wave, okay? And then de Broglie was the guy that was like the, like, let's, can we all just get along, right? Dual nature of light, that it can be both. The problem was there's not an experiment that shows that it can be both. There's experiments that show it can be a particle, like the photoelectric effect you're going to read about, and there's an experiment that shows that it can be a wave, like the electromagnetic spectrum we're going to talk about. So, Planck, light is a particle, Schrodinger, it lies a wave, de Broglie said the dual nature of light. All right, so that's what we're going to be getting into today. But first we need to understand, okay, when we're talking about waves, we're talking about the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, that's what Schrodinger was looking at. What is he? What is a wave? Okay. Right. Hey. We got that. We got hey. You stand up at a game. Got the big wave going, right? We went to Penn State a couple years ago, and they have what's called the the uh, slow wave. Have you guys ever seen that? You stop, and it's like they literally go this fast. Everybody does it, and then the next guy goes up, and then there's a pulsing wave, like a fast wave, where you're down and when you go up fast and come down. Really cool. One of the coolest things I've seen out of game people. Okay, well the electromagnetic spectrum, you guys, deals with waves. So, a wave, okay, is how that energy travels, all right? And the parts of the wave, we have the top is a crest, the bottom is a trough. How high the wave is, is called amplitude, and that's in your, your, your reading, all right? Now, if you're a sound guy, the amplitude is how loud the wave is. Okay, if it's a big amplitude wave, it's going to be a louder wave than it is if it has a smaller amplitude. But that's how energy is traveling, is on those waves. All right? Now, how many waves per second you have, that is called frequency. Okay? The waves per second is called frequency. And the symbol for that is a V. I don't know why it's not an F. I guess it's because F is a different you know, focus or something, a focal point. But it's a different... Uh, variable, but the symbol used to represent frequency is a V. The wavelength is basically from crest to crest, from trough to trough, or you can just, you know, it's, it's, it's the length of one wave, okay? That is a wavelength, and the symbol for wavelength is a lambda, okay? Which looks like that, all right? That's the symbol for wavelength. It's not a W. It's that. So, Schrodinger got together, you guys, and he said, okay, we've got these wavelengths, we've got these frequencies, how does this all fit in? All right, and there's a formula. Einstein came up with the speed of light. We talked about that a second ago. The speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Well, wavelength is measured in meters. Frequency is measured in hertz, mm -hmm. which is also 1 over a second. So the speed of light is going to be meters per second, all right? So that's where your numbers are going to, you know, go hand in hand with your, with your units. So if you're like, I, I don't really understand what I'm given, then look at the unit. If they give you a number that just has meters, what do they give me? A wavelength. If they give me a number that just has one over a second or a hertz, then what do they give me? The frequency. If they give me a number that is meters per second, then what did they give me? The speed of light. Now, the speed of light that will never change. It's a constant. Okay? Kind of like Chloe's hair. Always looks good, right? It's a constant, right? So, your formula that you're going to be using for that is the speed of light equals the wavelength times the frequency. Will we ever be solving for C? No, because it's the speed of light, right? So, we're going to be solving for wavelength, which is C over V. We already know what C is. So, when would we be solving for wavelength? When they give us the frequency, right? If they give me the frequency, I can solve for wavelength by dividing the speed of light by frequency, and I get the wavelength. If they give me the wavelength, 
I can divide the speed of light by the wavelength to get the frequency. So th these are the two formulas that you'll be using in your math problems, okay? Now, what else? The electromagnetic spectrum, all right? The electromagnetic spectrum, y'all, is the way that it's like, the, this is an order, and you have to know this. It's a great picture in your book, too. There's a great diagram. 